There may be sort of obvious mistakes, but I just want to make sure we name them out loud while we're together this morning so we can see this as, as we go forward. One mistake we make with the cross is that we just try to avoid it, right? The cross is painful. The cross is our picture of suffering. And because of that, there is a temptation in us, and maybe as much now as there's ever been in the history of the world, to try to avoid that pain. We hate death, right? And we're right to in some ways, right? Death is, is from the enemy. Death is evil in certain ways. Death involves suffering and pain, and it's scary. And so uh, we don't talk about it. We don't pay close attention to it if we can help it. We do everything we can to distract ourselves from it as though it's not real, right? We've built whole industries off of trying to escape the fact that we're going to die. We talked about this in Ash Wednesday, right? This is one of the things we remember in Ash Wednesday is that we're mortal. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. This is why we do that. Because there's no getting out of this cross. I had a professor who used to say that the trick to the modern life is that the modern life is convinced it can get out of life alive, right? That we've built an entire system that tries to trick us into getting out of life alive. John Wesley uh, made the observation way back in like the 1700s. He made the observation that we could talk about death, but we couldn't talk about sex, that was an observation he made because they had just come out of the plague, right? And people were dying everywhere. And this is something the church could talk about. And I had a professor who pointed out that John Wesley realized that, but he wouldn't be able to live right now because we talk about sex all the time and we never talk about death, right? We've flipped the order somehow. Somewhere in the last 200 years, we're way more comfortable with one than the other one, right? Um, we avoid the cross. This is just a default impulse for us. Here's the problem, though. Jesus says, unless the seed falls to the ground and dies, you cannot bear fruit. 